These things right here, booster boards, I get a lot of questions about them, especially like, what is this wall mount? Sarah, how do you travel with your booster board? I'm gonna answer all of these questions, but first, someone's in town that has been needing to ride a boosted board for a very, very long time. Also, I'd like to take a moment to shout out my mom, Jeannie, for getting me this La La Land Jurassic Park shirt. You the true MVP, Jeannie. happened as I was riding down to Madison Square Park to meet this lovely human and my new very good friend Johnny Cupcakes. Johnny Cupcakes, nice to see you. What, what do you do? I own a t-shirt brand called Johnny Cupcakes. Amazing. And I have t-shirt shops that look and smell like bakeries. I but we don't sell that. food. We display shirts and refrigerators and our stores smell like frosting. And on the way here, I just ran into Brett in the streets and you actually know this dude and yes. are a big fan. Huge fan. And, and a fan of Justine. Well. And a fan of Justine. Oh, <laughs> now we're doing magic. Which was one of my first businesses. I'm going to show oh my you gosh. a Another trick one. real oh quick. This is a close up magic again. Actually, I can use. <laughs> this is kind of gross, but. Oh. Oh. So the, I've been finding these all over the place. And you find them mostly near restaurants, so. Um. No! Excuse me? So this is actually a fake cockroach, it's rubber. Okay. And I can make it look like it's, it's real. But what I can do is what's pretty cool is I've learned to step on this. And when I lift my foot up, I can make it walk by itself and start to float in the air. So when I lift my shoe up, yes. you're gonna see this walk by itself. Okay. Three, <laughs> two, one. Did you see it jump up? I don't- Oh, oh my no. god! No! 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 Are you joking me right now? So check this out. You can do this with anything. You can take anything and make it look like it's not there. If you hold it at a certain angle, if you shake your hand enough, do you feel something behind your hair? No. No. No, I don't wanna. I'm just kidding, I'm not that good. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm not that good. But seriously, actually, actually. Can you check your pockets? Oh my no! god! What? Are you kidding me I'm right, now? right now? Johnny out. That's insane. This is no longer a video about booster boards, but about magic. My new friend wow. Johnny. That was so impressive. That was Dang. insane. Eric! Eric! <laughs> I don't know what's going on today, but that was Eric Conover that I just randomly saw riding in the middle streets of New York. Guess who I just saw? Who? Eric! What? Just riding his what bike. What's going on? Right in the middle of the Flatiron District, we're gonna get Justine on the boots. This is where we are, right in front of the Flatiron. Look at this beautiful open space for Justine to try out the booster boards. <laughs> I can do it, I think. I believe in you. Yes! Bye! Honestly, she's better than me. I don't think she can stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justine, this is the next thing you need to ride. <laughs> I just mastered this. This is not what happening is right that? now. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait, how do I stop? Oh my god. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> Justine. I'm Instagram, any F, five from seven. Okay, I'll, I'll attack you. Oh my gosh. What a great day. <laughs> Okay, hold on. This has happened all day. I've been seeing all of my internet friends you all over the city. Place to meet internet friends. Well, that turned into quite the experience. Now, time to go back to my apartment and I'm going to share with you some booster board accessories and answer some questions. Let's just talk about the booster board accessories that you need. Coming directly from the booster board, website I feel like you always have to have extra belts and then also an extra charger. Once you are without a booster board charger you can't really ride it until another one comes in the mail. This thing is my main mode of transportation around New York City so if I am left with a broken belt or no charger I am completely screwed. The number one most asked accessory is my wall mount. How do I mount my booster boards to the wall? Let's get some comments out of the way just so you guys don't have to comment them. 
oh my gosh, you live in New York City and you're a booster board. Oh my god, you're such a Casey and I sat copycat. Like, do you just want to be Casey? Okay, I'm glad we got that out of our system. The mounts that I use are called Raccord. You can get them at the container store in person, but they're actually only $10 on Amazon. Why well, go into a store, you can buy them online. All of these links will be in the description below, by the way. The installation of the wall mounts are just two screws on the top and bottom, but the arms are kind of strange, so it takes a while to figure out what's right for the booster board. But I like the way it looks because it's almost invisible when the board is on it. Up next is how do I transport my booster board? This bag, oh my goodness, I swear by this bag. It is I think boardbag.co, again, link will be in the description below. Your booster board fits perfectly inside of it. It has straps to keep it in place. You can either carry it around with this strap on the top or it has backpack straps where you can carry it on your back. Something I am also asked about a lot is how do you fly with your booster board? Typically, I will use my board bag, carry it on my back, and then also have one more carry-on. So I'm bringing on my booster board like people bring on guitars. The wattage of the standard boosted board battery is below the airline limit, but it is recommended to be carried on because usually it depends, but most airlines do not like putting any types of battery um, below where people sit where the baggage goes so I think it is like a preferred method to carry on any type of electric skateboard they do get confused they say oh my gosh there is a battery is this a hoverboard is it going to make the plane explode so allow an ample amount of time to go through security whenever you are carrying a booster board through security when I got my first booster board and I didn't have a board bag at the time I would actually use my Tim the tripod case to check my booster board. It does fit perfectly in here. You can smush it down and still fit some clothes. I can also fit my helmet in here as well. So again, I was able to successfully travel to and back from London, but this was a year and a half ago when I really wasn't aware of like, how do I travel with my booster board? I wouldn't want to get stuck with a fine. So I think traveling with your board as a carry-on is the best, but make sure to check with the specific airlines before you travel internationally. That's where you're going to get in some hiccups that you won't encounter traveling domestically within the United States. Electric skateboards, they're fast. They're dangerous. I have gotten ran over by a biker on the Williamsburg Bridge and almost died. I have also gotten hit by a taxi. Good times. That leads me to my next accessory, probably the most important. Helmets, 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 helmets. So this is a thousand helmet. I personally know the people at the company that make these. They look so sick, but also they have something that is called like the pop lock. And it's where if you ride a bike, you can actually lock up your helmet with your bike so you don't have to carry in your helmet. Of course, that doesn't apply with boost board, but these just look sick. I love the way they look. I've been using this ever since I got a booster board. So there are plenty of videos where you can watch me cruise around using these helmets. They have saved my life on many different occasions. These are a little bit more of fun accessories. These are just straps that I bought off Amazon and add a little bit more personality to my remote straps. They come in a big bag like this and they are so insanely cheap. When you're riding around at night, I think it is super important to have lights so people can see you. Recently, I've been riding around just with my iPhone light. There are lights called shred lights that are super cool because they actually attach to the very front and the very back of your booster board and they point out. However, they are a little bit pricey. They are $75, but they get the job done and I think by far they are the best lights that you can put on an electric skateboard or really any type of skateboard. I wanted some lights quick, so I went the cheap and faster route of buying LED lights on Amazon for a six pack. It is actually only $17. So if you have some buddies with some boards, just like split that cost and cop two lights for each board. I actually just got these lights in the mail. So I'm going to attach them to the bottom of my boost board right now and we will see how they look. So those get the job done, but they don't look very nice. So to solve that problem, get shred lights and they will be up here. However, a quick development, these are Velcroed on. So you can take them on and off. 
The last accessory that I would recommend, I don't personally own it, but a lot of my friends do. They are called bash guards. You basically put them on the bottom of your board so when you are carrying it around and you place it on the ground, the wood doesn't wear out because I know people whose tail ends of boards are just completely shaven off. So that is it for the boosted board accessories. I hope this helped you in some way. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every single Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do videos based in New York City, but I also travel a lot. I do tech, creative stuff, a little bit of lifestyle. We have fun over here. Everyone that you saw in this video and all of the links to these products will be in the description below. I will see you next time. Let me know if you liked the video. Hit that subscribe button. Stay peachy. Okay, bye.